How are you all? Hi, and welcome back to the Coins Alert. This is where you can get your crypto fix. I'm Triple Van Winkle, and I'm your boss. I hope everyone is having a great day. I'm getting ready for a little pool party. I know I am. Then I took a short nap. Okay, a noon nap it is. Tonight there is a hockey playoff game after that. There's nothing wrong with that. Today in Southwest Florida, it's going to be about 95 degrees. Because you know what? We all need a break from crypto for a little while. I hope everyone is outside enjoying the fresh air and sun. It's important to clear our thoughts and start over with our thinking so we don't make hasty or irrational choices. We still have a little chop left in us before we make that next big move to the upside. You know what the goals are? They are clear. Bitcoin 74,000 is the only thing you need to focus on. What happened? We just saw an Ethereum ETF come out. The price didn't really change though. People, it didn't really move. But everything is fine. We're going because we know where we're going. When everything is said and done in 2025, the total value of all cryptocurrencies will be $7 trillion. After that, what do we do? It's up to you whether you want to take a step back, cash out, or go into farms. We buy again, keep buying, and do it every week while we wait for the prices to drop. We get ready for the next bull run by setting up. That easy. What do you know? I'm going to make a lesson or class about it. To get into it, we'll do something really cheap every month. I'll show you the way. Let me show you how to load up, how to stash up, a, and what you should be buying every week. Because in the next three to four years, when a bull cycle hits, you'll be in a great position to make huge gains that will change your life and allow you to retire early. How does that sound? I know it sounds great. Let's watch this movie. $69,126 in Bitcoin. It has gone up 2.5% in the last 24 hours. Ethereum, which was worth 3731 it has gone up 0.56% in the last 24 hours. The USDT and USDT and USDC both came in at 99 cents, which isn't bad. What does that mean? It's easy to understand we've seen money leave the barns and enter the markets. The stables will rise back up to a dollar when money leaves the markets. They might even go over a dollar if a lot of money leaves the market. One dollar, two dollars, and XRP 53 cents have been seen. Pay attention, it wants to reach 54 cents. Could it happen today? It can't happen, I think. There is a small pump. I like it. The value of all cryptocurrencies on the market is two five nine four zero 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 dollars. Even though there was a little movement, the market is still in that chopper range, right? Be patient. At this point, all you need to do is wait. This is not a bad place to buy or an awful chance to buy. Cardano, I have my eye on this. It looks like a good buy. It's in the red and has a nice. I have no idea what's going on with Cardano but I think we could get about a 10x return on it. I'm going to look into this and might even add a few more circle dots here. Chainlink has been really great for me. The ICP went down a little on it. Maybe some more ICP, but I'm not going to touch the H-bar. I'm done touching now. Casper 11 cents XLM. It's scary to think that XLM might do better than XRP or that it might be looking for low caps to get into. We'll see. Listen, Lux Lines, you only have one week left. You will get paid to hold NFTs on June 1st, so now is the time to get them. That's how easy it is. The top project on the XRP ledger got back 600,000 XRP. Remember that if you buy something today and keep it for four, five, or six months, you'll still get XRP every month for a year. That's how easy it is. It is not hard to understand. That's what we do here. My project is ahead of all other XRP ledger projects for a reason. It's because we do things, move things, and help people. The group of people who help make the project happen. I need to make something. Because I can't believe this guy is still here. He was around when I first got back into crypto. Has a strong dislike for XRP. There's nothing fuller than this guy. He's like a Bitcoin giant. He's mad too. Why is he so mad? He got an ETF because he owns Ethereum. He doesn't like it. He thought that Bitcoin would be the only thing that got an ETF. This man is not pleased. He feels like he needs to back off. That is, besides the bad charts he makes that show he's been wrong. He's so bad that I haven't followed him in years. He's the type of person who puts out numbers to show that things are going up. People get excited about them and follow them. Then they see that he's still putting out the same chart after three years and nothing has changed. Yes, however, these Bitcoin highs, they're mad. That's what they thought would be the only ETF they believed Bitcoin would be the way. It doesn't work that way. A lot of these big cryptocurrencies will also have ETFs. She thinks that the chop chop is over, Terra. We need to get back above 67,800, she says. It was sent out two days ago. We're not affected. We're around $69,000. I believe the chop chop is also over. I believe it is now time for the next push up, and I am sure it will go through the roof. I believe it will put us around $80,000. I don't think Bitcoin or the crypto markets as a whole will go through many more deep breaks. 
I believe we have reached the heart of the matter and are now ready to proceed. A lot of people will feel bad about what they did, right? Now is a great time to buy more if you were thinking about it. People were not going to time the bottom, but we can get pretty damn close. It turned out to be true that 60,000 was the lowest price band. What's next? You know that's the important question, right? Do we see another little drop or is this the bottom? Do alts go up and down? I showed you the XRP charts and Keith and I worked on them together. You should know that 48 cents was kind of the low point for XRP. Yes, that was your buy zone, which was around 53, we're still in it. Which means that if you want to get more XRP, this is the right place to be. When we look back at this, if you buy a 48 cent, 50 cent, or 50 cent or 55 cent item, this thing will cost $35.60, zero the end of the day. It won't matter where you bought it. This is a game for the middle to long run. And the next six to 12 months are what we mean by long term, you already know what will happen. I know what happens because it always does in crypto. It's been going on since 2017 and most of you who knew don't get it. This is what's going to happen. Things don't look good when they start to move. They are not pretty when they start to go sideways or even down a bit. You don't like the look of Reddit, but you need to change the way you think about it. It should look good when you see Reddit. It should feel like that beauty walked right up to you and threw herself at you. These are the things you should look at, not when you see green. A lot of people get crazy, excited and excited when they see green and start buying, but then they get sick. Green is not something you buy. Now is the time to buy and stock up, not when this thing flips and these green candles start to appear. Now is the time to make money. I've been buying. I bought a huge chunk in February, and I just bought a huge chunk at the end of April. Or the beginning of this month, I can't remember, but I did a dollar cost average. You lowered my averages, and now a lot of my assets are in green, even though we haven't even entered bullish territory yet. And if 75% of the assets I just bought are already making money, that's a good sign because we just went through a big drop in adjustment. That is the right way to do it. You're DCA, and I want to buy more and add to my shares. A little chat GPT has helped me figure out my dollar cost average and how much I need to put in to get to the prices we're at now. Why? Because I believe the bottom is here. There doesn't seem to be much that could go wrong, and I'm ready. We're going to do 5, 10, 15, and 20 times this. What else does XRP have planned? This is nice. I am not sure if I talked about it. I'm going to do it again. Check ESO2, double zero, double two. Nakel, look, take a look at Ethereum or ETF Bitcoin. Check the Ethereum ETF. Check out Bit21, which will help Ripple and XRP in the US. Why are we still here? Easy. Ripple could go public next year or in 2026. I think there will also be an XRP ETF next year. Soon, there will be elections. It's coming SBI Japan 2025. Ripple stablecoin is also on the way. Putting Coinbase back on the market in New York, done. AM, XRP record, done. Remember the Black Rocky share ETF that they said was fake? We never heard anything about it. It was kind of swept under the rug. If it was fake, someone should have gone to jail, right? A lot is coming up and everything is falling into place. I need to make sure I follow my friend Sergio. This is where everything fits together. I get why people are angry, kicking, and screaming because XRP isn't moving. But what do you know? When we joined XRP, we knew what we were getting ourselves into. Because it has to do with money, banks, states, and everything else. It does take a long time to grow. Recording Ripple, JP Morgan, Ripple, and XRP are all against a large uptake. I won't say this if they can beat the SEC in court. This is what JP Morgan says. Over 100 financial companies are part of the Ripple network. There are now a lot more like Bank of America, American Express, and Santander. SBI is one example. All of this is happening for a reason. And JP Morgan knows who Ripple is, what it does, who it works with, and what it does with the XRP token and the XRP platform to fix a broken financial system. Take a look. This is 